Let's talk about equity scheduling conversions for Google Ads. So most of the same principles apply as did for the Google Analytics. So we have the custom conversion tracking in equity where we send the message to our website with all the information about the booking. And then we have a Google Tag Manager um, listener tag. Or if you have the simple script, it's kind of a same thing. You don't add it to Google Tag Manager, you add it to your website. But these same principles apply. We push the information about the booking to the data layer and we fire our event purchase trigger, which will trigger the tags. So in Google Ads, let's make a conversion and see how that is done. New conversion action, website. You can kind of put whatever here. This is kind of a extra step we don't care about. Roll, scroll down, add conversion action manually. So I'm gonna choose book appointment and call this equity uh, appointment booked. Good, use different values for each conversion. So this is dynamic. Uh, the default conversion I'm gonna put as zero. I'm gonna choose the uh, US dollar for here. For the count, I would go with every, if you have like an onboarding thing, maybe a free booking, maybe go with one. If you're only interested in kind of the first cu customer contact, but if you're charging money for those bookings, maybe you want every, and perhaps you want to click through window to be as long uh, as possible. Um, for this one, it's kind of a matter of taste. Uh, I'm just gonna go with 64 for this demo. Done. And here I'm gonna click save and continue. Perfect, so I'm actually gonna add this conversion to my Google Tag Manager setup. So for this one, if you use my simple copy pasted script, then you will kind of copy paste this part to the script. And if you use Google Tag Manager for your setup or use my Google Tag Manager setup, then you will copy paste the conversion ID and the uh, conversion label to Google Tag Manager. So I'm gonna copy this one, go to Google Tag Manager and find the pre-built Google Ads conversion tracking tag. And it actually says, says edit conversion label here. So let's click on the conversion label, get rid of that one and now copy paste our conversion label from Google Ads to our tag here. I'm now gonna click save and let's take this for a little test drive click on preview to run a test. So our tag assistant window will open where we can see our tags. These tags are fired and these tags are kind of waiting to be fired. So for example, the listener tag is always listening, but the Google ads tag hasn't been fired because we haven't done a booking yet. So let's make a test booking here for test test and um, actually, I'm going to go to Google Ads and click done so we can see our conversion here. Equity appointment booked, still in an unverified state. Google Ads hasn't received this conversion. So in our test, uh, tag assistant, connected window, let's complete the appointment, make a test booking. Perfect. So first I'm going to check the tag assistant and I'm going to see that the Google Ads equity conversion has been fired one time. It moved from tags not fired to the tags fired and this is exactly what we want. We can take a look at it and we can see the values for the conversion transaction ID, the email for the enhanced conversion tracking. We'll talk about that in just a second. And everything looks good, US dollars as we chose in Google Ads for the conversion. So the unverified state, when we refresh, it's gonna change to no recent conversions, as we can see here. So Google Ads has now received this test booking. So why it says no recent conversions is because it, it wasn't an actual conversion. This was a test booking 
I did not click on a Google ad before I did the booking. So the Google ads cookie isn't there, but the Google ads is receiving this information. So the annoying thing or a little bit of an annoying uh, little quirk in Google ads compared to Google Analytics is the fact that in Google Analytics, we have this lovely debug view for the GA4 where we can see in real time as many events and conversions as we like in this lovely timeline. In Google ads, we only see it turn once from an unverified state to no recent conversion. So if we would change something a lot and we would like to test, is it still working? We would actually need to remove this, create a new one and uh, see the new conversion chart from unverified to no recent conversions. Not sure if there's a workaround for that. So mostly the debugging for Google ads conversions as for pretty much all the other conversions, but um, for most conversions is done here using the tag assistance where uh, tag assistant where we see the tags firing and their values. Uh, for Google ads, it's lovely that we have this nice visual debugging view where we can actually click on the conversions and see all the all the information about them. Okay, let's take a look at a few differences in the Google ads conversion compared to the Google Analytics conversion. Okay, so this is from my pre-built setup, everything uh, handled automatically. So this is a perfect demo. Let's open the tag up. And here, what we can see is we do not use the data layer automatically. So in Google ads, we just send the entire data layer because it's in a perfect format. But for Google ads, we kind of pick and choose values for these few things. The conversion value, which is the price paid for the appointment, the transaction ID, which is a unique ID for each booking, preventing duplicate conversions, and the currency code is uh, added to my setup as a variable, really easy to do. So the Google Ads has this user provided data thing. So this is the enhanced conversion tracking that is, according to Google, more accurate way to track uh, Google Ads conversions. And it's using personal data like names, emails, phone numbers, etc., in a kind of a way where uh, Google can't really see those emails, but it can, I suppose, kind of connect them to, to the people in some more accurate way. And it's just, you know, recommended to do so. The full details are, are a little bit unclear, but Google says it's better and accurate, more accurate, so we do it like this. So for this one, we have a variable Google Ads Enhanced Conversion Configuration, and we can actually see that in my setup. Again, this is the setup you can buy in my website. Sorry, not triggers, but variables. So Google Ads Enhanced Conversion Tracking all set up automatically, and it's using the data layer variable equity booking email address here. So most parts are very much the same. We start from the custom conversion tracking, send the message, listen to that message, but the tag uh, is a little bit different. And of course, uh, in Google Analytics, you don't necessarily need to create the conversion here. Uh, for the custom event, you need to add a few custom dimensions. For the purchase, it's all automatic really simple. It's automatically a, a conversion event, which is different from a regular event. So this purchase uh, version is kind of a little bit more easier. But for Google Ads, you of course need to create the specific conversion, copy paste the conversion ID and conversion label to Google Tag Manager, and then it's going to work. But most steps are the same. But of course, the kind of final tag is a little bit different and the debugging is, is a little bit more annoying because we don't have this lovely visual view where we can run as many tests as possible. It's like you run your test once and then the ads conversion is verified. 